Hello everybody, it's Brad here today and welcome back to City Skylines. Guys, I'm so happy to be back building a UK city in this game. So, welcome to Downton everybody. This is going to be our brand new UK city build in City Skylines. Really happy to be back. So, as you can see, it's not just a fresh start. I've spent roughly an hour. Um, I find it really hard to know where to start in these kind of builds so what I said to myself is right brothers take an hour don't do any recording just get a little base a little HQ if you will to start from so that's what I've done and you will see what I built later on in this episode there's like a little Asda a little BP petrol station a little block of flats a couple of pubs and a travel lodge I think so just like a little bit of a base a little small town base and then we can build off that so you can see here, as soon as you have a little collection of shops and amenities, you need some people. So we're working here on our first little residential area. Now, these are quite, well, these are actually really nice houses. They're semi-detached and they're like quite large houses, lovely gardens. So I thought that would be like a nice, a nice way to start. And you can see here that we've actually popped in a little Sainsbury's because you know you see that really really often here in the UK you see these little residential areas you know little estates of houses and then quite close to those you have a little local shop and there can be you know a massive variety of different companies um, so we've chucked in a little Sainsbury's here and I'm kind of just working on what road will look nice as a little like back alley to the car park kind of thing so you can see here they're popping in a few different rows just to see what looks nice some look better than others of course i think in the end we do just go for like a standard um small narrow two-lane road um, and that will come out here to the car park spending a little bit of time putting in some foliage and little bits like that just to cover where i've painted the asphalt in um, there'll be a little alley in between those two houses you can see here look just going out to that row so you can nip through to your sainsbury's for your bread and your milk and your eggs and all that kind of stuff spend a little bit of time on the car park here just making sure it looks kind of realistic that's what i'm going for in this series overall guys is a kind of realistic um, attitude towards it i'm not going to pretend to be um, amazing this kind of thing like if you watch other people's videos like um, pug gaming prayers two dollars twenty you know those guys they're amazing and they spend so much time i'm going for a an in-between an in-between of a let's play and a detailed city definitely leaning more towards the detailed side um you know i want it to be kind of semi-realistic but the city i also wanted it to work you can see not in the people's videos that i just mentioned but when some people are doing the detailed cities they really like don't really care if it works or not it really is just like how it looks um, but I want to be kind of in between that hopefully that's what I'm aiming for anyway so here we've popped in another road and actually put in some other shops next to the Sainsbury's there and then there's gonna be a few more shops and pubs up on this road and that's what you get in these little towns and villages you get all of like the commercial bits like grouped together quite often um, so you can see here that, you know, you've got this like nice road of residential um, and then you have like this little small road um, of like a main road of all of like your pubs, shops, betting shops, fast food, takeaways, all that kind of thing. Um, so what we're actually going to do is spend a little bit of time just after we do this commercial road working on the road that you can see there to the left. Now what I wanted to kind of get with that road is where they've actually added a, road, a new road into like a greenland area so it's just you know like trees shrubs bushes overgrown and a developer has bought that land and has built some houses on it that was my idea anyway so i was just trying to like um rebuild kind of thing and um, create for you is this road here so that's why i've used these new um detached looking houses you know they're quite like new like new brick that like orangey brick looks quite new um, they look quite a similar shape they kind of like really follow a template for these houses they have got different back gardens and 
um, some different front gardens. But this is what I was actually aiming for here, is get this like, nice little row of newer houses, um, spend a little bit of time making sure they're all like in line, they look nice. A few houses at the top of the road are going to be older looking, um, as semi-detached houses. But yeah, I just thought it looked quite cool just to have like a bit of a difference in between the, diff the different houses. You know, some newer, some older, I thought that would look quite nice. Uh, we don't actually use that house large to pop down, we actually put down these. Because these can look really, really realistic. Um, these are like really common um, shaped houses. I don't know when, I don't know what kind of era to me. It reminds me of like a 50s, 60s era, these kind of houses, but I don't know if that's true, I'm not sure. So I spent a little bit of time here putting down some decals for like driveways, some cracks in the pavements and roads. Just little little bits like that can make it look really realistic. So guys, I'm actually gonna leave you to some music now. I hope you enjoy. Um, I hope you enjoy. Enjoy the time lapse, chill out, sit back with a cup of tea or coffee, you know, chill out. And um, please let me know what you think of the build overall. And I'll be talking to you again very, very shortly. why hello again everyone so this is a bit of an interesting area here i had this little rectangular piece of land that i wanted to kind of fill in behind these shops pub and houses here so what i actually started to put down was a really nice like park set that was actually a mod made by rick 4000 for the uk holiday park um, and then I actually found this and it's like a little as you can see like a little square courtyard kind of thing It's quite nice. Um, I kind of fill it in with trees and stuff around it Here you can see that we're just putting in like a few paths and stuff So it does look like it does join up with like the pub behind So, you know, like in real life you might think oh, maybe I don't know the pub have got a special license where you could take drinks out I, I don't know, you know, I'm just kind of waffling now But um, I just wanted to fill in this area of land. I just thought a little park 
A few kind of pathways and stuff, like little back alleys around it, I quite liked. Um, and then just spending a little bit of time putting in the right trees. I feel like I'm getting better at trees and foliage in general. I feel like um, I'm kind of getting there. It takes a long time to find like the trees that you really want. That actually can take a while. Um, so then what I'm doing here is I'm just looking at the amount of space we have and then basically thinking, well, yeah, we can definitely get some more buildings in there. I don't think it would make sense to get like commercial buildings. So we are going to go with a bit more residential. Um, I think in the end we go with the, the semi-detached, I think in the end, or some kind of semi-detached anyway. And then we join up the road a little bit so it does all obviously connect. And then we um, put in some more terrace houses. So obviously what the city is going to be, it's kind of going to be semi-working. So what I mean by that is we're going to spend time and effort trying to get it to look right but at the same time we want it to function um some people um you know when they're like just amazing at making these cities look so realistic they just they do not care at all about if this city like actually works as like as the game city obviously like if the game um was in vanilla then obviously you have to make sure you've got schools for jobs and you have to make sure you've got fire engines and police cars and ambulances available. So we're going to be going to be doing that whilst also trying to make it look hopefully realistic to a UK city. That's, you know, that's the end goal. Um, so here we're kind of putting in a few parking spaces next to these terraced houses. And I use one of those really nice corner semi-detached houses there on the corner of the road intersection so here we have a little bit of terrain that goes up from those kind of new houses um, at the bottom of the picture there up to the top and that terrain is quite interesting to know like what to do with it so as you can see i'm kind of just filling it with lots of trees thinking that hopefully you know whatever developer put these new houses in for let's fill in that gap between these and the older houses with some kind of green space that was my thinking behind it anyway so again just using a little group of these terraced houses i guess they're kind of are they victorian i don't really know but they kind of look victorian-ish to me um so we're just trying to fill in these little areas here and there with a little bit of green some trees and bushes just to make sure it's not empty and unrealistic um, so here you can see like loads of shrubs and trees going in right i'm going to leave you a little bit longer and then we're going to be moving on to building something a little bit different a little bit different um, we did actually have one in the last city that we've done all oh, these were some cool carlsberg umbrellas but i'm going to leave you to it and i will talk through our next section very shortly So this area here was quite interesting. It's like a square bit of land and it's not the most level in the world. So I was thinking for quite a while, what shall we put in here? Should we continue with the houses? Should we put in something a little bit different? So that's why you can see here that we're building some kind of like little road. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put in a cheeky little McDonald's. Every town needs a McDonald's. We popped one in in the last series, if you remember, and there's some really, really nice little small assets and objects to go with this McDonald's building. Um, really, really cool. So you get like little umbrellas, little signs. It's really, really nice. And it really gives you that extra edge of detail. Um, and that's what I really love because there are quite a few McDonald's assets on the workshop, but these look like little like that little like height bar so you don't go in there with a double-decker bus i don't know why you'd go into a mcdonald's with a double-decker bus but who knows 
Um, so then what I actually do is here, again, the terrain is really interesting. I'm actually enjoying this. I'm enjoying having to work with the terrain. So you can see here that we're using like some really nice brick paving decals. And then this is gonna be a little seating area. And I spent quite a while looking at what tables, benches, chairs to use. Um, I couldn't really decide. So I used like this kind of mixture of a few. And then you've got some lovely McDonald's umbrellas, which are really nice. And then we'll just finish that off with a little wall. I think we use like a, I thought I used some kind of brick wall in the end. Just to kind of edge that off a little bit. Yeah, here we go. That's a nice little brick wall in there. And then this kind of terrain behind, I believe we put in like lots of nice foliage, just so it looks really nice. And then this actually does look like, well, I think so. It does actually look like a McDonald's drive through Yeah, here you can see, I need to work on the um, trees and bushes a little bit more just to make it look right. The heights are a little bit off in some places. So I need to spend a little bit more time on that. And then to the left of this McDonald's, you're going to see again that we have a bit of room. So we're going to adjust the road down and then we're going to look at what fits in nicely here. So again, I spent a little bit of time looking at different bits. So at first I was looking at some of like the um, UK council flats or abandoned social housing and that looked nice. but. Those abandoned buildings, they need lots of detail around them for them to look realistic. Else it just looks like a really crap building, kinda. So what I've actually done, look, is I've popped down a Audi, a cheeky Audi, because in these UK towns, guys, it's very, very common to get shops very close together. So when I was actually putting this down, I thought, oh God, this is quite close to the Asda that we've got on the other side of the road, but this is quite common. Um, so we're gonna go for a smaller, Audi um, and I'm gonna again work on a few little details in and around this now as you can see there look it is quite bumpy ground um, and then on the workshop there are some really nice um, it's called I think it's called like terrain network I believe and it actually allows you to put in some ploppable nodes and then you can use move it to move those nodes up and down and that really helps if you've got a little bit of ground that's like a little bit bumpy you can use those and it just levels it out a little bit um, i know it's not perfect you can see there that it's not perfectly level you can see there look we're using those nodes it's not perfectly level at all but what it does allow you to do is it allows you to make it look nice from a distance so from a distance it's you know you're not like oh my god that looks absolutely horrific so again we've got these little awkward bits of um land here and there and these are the bits of land that I find quite hard to make it look realistic. So I do spend a little bit of time here just making sure that the road looks realistic. It doesn't look like I've just plonked it down. Um, let me know your thoughts because if you think it does then you know let me know and I can kind of work on an area a little bit more. But these are the areas which are a little bit harder just to get right. But um, you can see here that I've actually taking the game off pause and it looks so nice like just seeing cars go around i've downloaded loads of car assets if you look on the workshop and gone some collections there are some fantastic collections i think there was one that were i can't remember what it was called it was something like uk cars and vehicles and it's amazing because it has like all of the uk lorries trucks cars it looks so cool when you see them all driving around now this area like I said, I do spend a little bit of time and I did paint the ground around this in the asphalt, but it does take a while just to make it look right. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you now for some more music and I'll see you at the end where we'll have a little walk around the city and see what it looks like in real time. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the time lapse.
Hello everyone, welcome to a live Darrington. So what do you think so far? What do you think of our first episode? Now, the game, as you can see, is quite jittery, quite laggy, especially with vehicles. So what I'm going to do is, between this episode and now and next one, I'm just going to have a look and see if I can just calm that down a little bit. There might be a few graphic settings that I can adjust. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I'm pretty happy with this area up here. I quite like how the kind of the Sainsbury's and this little bit here turned out. This little park was quite cool. It's a little bit too structured and formal for what I was looking for, but I'm pretty happy with it. Now, the places that I don't really like, and these are the places where I'd really like to know what you guys think, this map is not the flattest. So I gave myself a little bit of a challenge on this map because I am very much used to building on very flat maps. I don't do too well with slopes, but I'm pretty happy how this is turning out. I just don't really like these cliff edges, but I don't think there's too much we can do there. If you do have any ideas, then um, please do just let me know. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. We've got a mixture of terraced, semi-detached, detached housing. We've got this little like you know shopping bit here. Again, we've got on the McDonald's and the Audi just down here. Um, and then, yeah, so I, I'm really happy how this is turning out. Um, let me know what you think. And let me know if you've got any ideas. I'll try and adjust the graphic settings so the game runs a little bit better. And I'll see you very shortly in the next episode here in Darrington. Please take care of yourselves. And I will see you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys i really hope you enjoyed it please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already and please feel free to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram have a great day see you later